Hello students, welcome back. The question is from gate 2008 exam. It is for two marks. They have given you the straight transition diagram of some flip-flop. Also, they are trying to implement that specific flip-flop. You can see, they have used one JK flip-flop and some combinational circuit. Okay, we need to determine what is this combinational circuit. That means they are asking what are J and K in terms of the inputs x and y x and y are inputs of this bigger flip-flop okay the flip-flop that we are implementing okay the flip-flop whose state transition diagram is given that flip-flops inputs are x and y so we must alter x and y in such a way that we generate j and k from x and y that alteration will be done using some combinational circuit we need to determine what is this circuit okay let's do one thing let us read the statement also. It says consider the following state diagram and its realization by JK flip-flop. The combinational circuit generates J and K in terms of X, Y and Q. The Boolean expression for J and K are. Now you have a look at these options. You can see J and K are only dependent on X and Y. They are not dependent on Q. Okay. So let's start this question. See, this is the straight transition diagram of the flip-flop that we wish to implement using this circuit. Okay, let us analyze this flip-flop first. See, whenever the input is 0, 0, whatever is the current state, if you are on 1, you will remain on 1 only. If you are on 0, you will remain on 0 only. Okay, so on x and y is equal to 0, 0 the next state will be same as current state qn plus 1 the same as qn that is this is latch state okay now let us analyze what happens on 1 1 on 1 1 if you are on 1 on state 1 you remain here only similarly for state 0 that means this one is also a latch state okay Similarly, you can see 0, 1 and 1, 0. Both of these inputs will change the state. If you are here, you see either 0, 1 or 1, 0. You will change the state from 1 to 0. Okay. And if you are currently on state 0 and values of x, y are 0, 1 or 1, 0, still you will change the state. That means 0, 1 is QN complement. Whatever was the current input, uh, sorry, current output, its complement will be the next output. Okay. If currently you are on state 1, next output will be 0. Similarly, here also it is QN complement. So both of these, they are invert. Okay. Whatever is the current state, just take its complement. This flip flop we want to implement. We already have a JK flip-flop. Okay. JK works like this. That means to this entire circuit, if we give 0, 0 as input, that means if 0 and 0 is applied here, we want latch to happen. Okay. That means this Q must not change. And something similar happens in JK also. Okay. So, 0, 0 input must pass as it is to this JK. Okay. So whenever the inputs applied are 0, 0, we want that 0, 0 to be transferred to JK as it is. Okay. So JK are 0 and 0 in this case. Now, when X and Y are 1, 1. See, when we apply 1 and 1 here, We want that input must remain as it is in latch state. Okay. So this entire circuit must remain in latch state. But JK remains in latch state only when the inputs are 0, 0. That means when we apply 1, 1, this must get 0, 0 to latch. Okay. In this case also, J and K must be 0, 0 only. Okay. Now see, when we apply 0, 1, we want the input to be inverted. Okay. I am applying 
जीरो वन ऑन एक्स वाई एंड आई वॉन्ट दिस आउटपुट मस्ट एंड वॉट वॉट एवर वॉज इट्स करंट वैल्यू मस्ट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड टू गिव द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू दिस जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप शोज सच अ बिहेवियर वेन इनपुट इज वन वन ओके सो वेन वी अप्लाई जीरो वन ऑन एक्स वाई दिस जे के मस्ट गेट वन वन इन द आउटपुट सॉरी इन द इनपुट हेयर ओके वन वन Similarly, when I apply one zero, one zero, I want the output must be complemented. That means whatever is the current value of Q, next value must be its complement. If currently Q is zero, next value must be one. If currently it's one, next value must be zero. J K can show such a behavior only when the inputs J and K are one one. Okay. That means if I apply one zero on x y, this must get one one. Okay, so I'm writing one one here. Now we want to convert these values of x and y into these values of j and k. What will be the combinational circuit to do that? You can see this is xor of x and y. J is xor of x and y. Okay, it's clearly visible. We don't even need to draw any k map. Similarly, k is also xor of x and y. Okay, that means if we just place a xor gate here, like this, and its outputs are connected to j and k, we will get the desired flip flop. Okay, so this flip flop is implemented. This entire circuit now has two inputs, x and y. this will work as desired okay so your answer is j is x x or y as well as k is also x x or y okay